Hi beautiful, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to have a little bit of a reset day. I feel like it's a day that I just need to reset. Last weekend was crazy. The emotions were up, then they were down, then they were up and then they were down. And I feel like I need a day where I just sort of get my head back into it, you know. So, as you can see, I think it was Mia's birthday on Sunday. So, all the balloons are up and I feel like as much as I love having like the house all done for like the birthday... It's a bit like Christmas. The second it's done, I'm ready for it to be taken down because then balloons drive me insane. So I'm thinking of keeping just a couple because she loves playing with them. She really does. And I might like put some behind the chair so I can get them out for her or even like over there or something like that. But I'm going to concentrate on like a really decent speed clean. I'm going to run around and sort of put everything away tidy up i feel like that's something that is the most important when you're having a reset day is you need to do a clean you need to get everything put away because if you are like me when the house is tidy i feel like my brain can sort of like go on to the next thing you know so hopefully you'll enjoy this video and enjoy this reset button with me <laughs> Let me know, do you feel like you need like a reset like every other week or something like that to just sort of help you stay in the right frame of mind? And to be honest, I would say I sort of started this the other day and at the end of every month, I really focus on resetting for the next month because I think I spoke about this actually in one of my latest videos. My focus this year is losing is getting back to my pre-baby body weight and that is just where I feel the most comfortable and something that I feel like helps I think no matter what everybody should have some sort of goal in mind everybody should be wanting to improve and the best way to do that is at the the start or for me I actually do it on the last day of every month I want to have like 15 minutes of pure silence where I'm just sort of like imagining my dream life and I'll just take them 15 minutes of just picturing exactly what it is I want and when I'm doing that I'm starting to feel excited about how that will feel and that is the best frame of mind that you are going to need to be in in order to um, change your life to create these goals to be inspired to create these goals because if you try and do it just on a day where you're not really feeling it, you'll not really put your all into them goals and there'll be no emotion there and emotion is the thing that's going to drive you to want to pursue your goals. It's not motivation, it's the excitement you feel when you think about what them goals are going to give you in that at that time, you know. I did do that the other day and I planned out all of my workouts and I made them exciting again and I just changed it up a little bit and also something I actually also do is I have a little bit of string and at the first of every month I sort of measure myself and I see the change and if there has been any change and luckily for me there was a lot of change so that was very exciting and that was something that really motivated me and inspired me to keep going this month and I actually feel like it really helps so if you are on like a, a weight loss journey or you want to just lose some weight rather than weighing yourself or anything like that I would highly recommend you could take a photo but sometimes I don't feel like that is good enough because I think they can sometimes take a little bit longer than a month but definitely get some string, tie it around your waist, tie it around your hips, mark it and then a month later do the same thing and see if you've actually lost any size and you'll be surprised. But I've also got some really exciting things to share with you today as well. I got a new mop. Yes, I'm sad. But I got a new mop and I absolutely love it. I'm going to share it with you so I got it from Amazon so I'll leave all these links down below and I guess if there's anything else that I'm using that you like leave me a comment and I'll send you the link and let you know exactly where it is I got it from but without further ado the first thing we're going to do is go around the house and sort of like tidy it up a little bit to be fair I am not <laughs> feeling my best today I went in the gym yesterday and I can hardly walk I am my butt hurts my leg hurts 
and this was happening yesterday before I even went to sleep so I knew I was going to be in pain today and I'm going to be more pain tomorrow. <laughs> about my new find doesn't it look cute you know the one thing i like about it is it's a good size i mean let's be serious you should only have the water for like one use and this is like the perfect size it stores really nicely because it's so little and compact i quite like this little bit here because you can put the spare mop heads i guess there and that's the mop bit and you got loads of these. I think you got six of these. And you actually also got some of these ones as well. And I think they're to dry up after. Because it doesn't leave your floor like as dry as what like you know the spray mops did. But that's fine because I feel like this actually gives it a good clean. And luckily there's some like dog footprints and stuff. So I'll show you. It does help with the fact that it does get a little bit wetter because it means it actually cleans the floor whereas the spray one just put tiny 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 little bits of spray on and it just wasn't the best you know when you're doing your mop you're doing your floors and you've got maybe more than one room like we've got laminate we've got tiles we've got the bathrooms i don't really want to be using the same one throughout the full house it just felt wrong so the fact that it comes with six it means that I can change them over for different rooms or I can also still be using the mop when one of them's in the wash. You know, that was really handy. I will show you it in its full glory. All I do really is you can either buy your floor cleaner, but I just use the floor if I'm honest. I just find that it works the same, you know. I'm a little bit unsure. It didn't come with instructions. That's the only thing I will say, which obviously isn't brilliant. So I'm a little bit unsure which way this goes on. So if you can see that, there's a wash and there's a dry. And I'll show you why. So I'm going to put some more water on. Because it really cleans up well as well with the warm water. Which is good. I hope you can still hear me. Um, because like I say, it gets the dirt up nice. And also, it means that you're using fresh water every time. Rather than the spray bottle that's been there for like a week. So I might be wrong in this one because I've not used it on this side, but there is a difference. So yeah, I'm just going to put in some of flora, just a capful. I'm going to get one of these. It's not Velcro, which I actually find is good as well. It's more of like clip, um, like sharp bits and it sort of like just hooks on. And it means the Velcro is not going to get damaged or anything, doesn't it? You can see one half isn't, hasn't got anything in and one half has. And once it's washed and once it's dry, so obviously you want to make sure you put the wash one over the water. And let's see if this actually makes any difference. So these have like little comb things on so it cleans the brush really well. And this has like a little lip so it dries it. Oh! So I will try and show you as best as I can. So yeah, the only problem I think I'm having with this, and I thought maybe swapping it around would help, but I don't think it, this is the right way. So you can see it only, it doesn't get wet all the way, but obviously that mop's dripping now. It does help there. I don't know if you've seen all the water come off and it means you're not putting like a soaking mop but that does mean that the water will travel up the mop as well in the moment of truth i don't know if you can see let me show you quickly like it just looks dull and then no effort at all it's like magic like look at the difference obviously the floor's wet so that's going to give it a little bit of a shine but honestly I'm obsessed. I'll leave the link down below if you are interested in this mop. Let's check what little Mrs. 
doing? Are oh, you playing with your Lego? Wow, you built the train. So, my plan is right. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yes? Good girl. My plan right now is to cut the fit. Fitch? Fridge. I like to do that this once a week. Get rid of some of the old stuff. Organise it and just make it look a little bit better than that. And also what I need to do in the meantime is put all of the fruit and veg into a big bowl so that hopefully I'll get all the nastiness off. And I've also, this is rank, but I've also made my lemon water. It might be a bit hot. Yes, a bit hot. But it's going to be really good for your hormones and stuff. So that's why I'm drinking that. I just need to quickly chop up this. So that I oh, can plop them in there. Now I'm thinking right now, do I want to make some little... Cakes. I've got bananas, I've got peanut butter, I've got protein powder and I've got chocolate chips. I might just sort of make something, put it in a dish and see what it tastes like. How many bananas? I don't think I need three. I could probably use two of them because they're mean. Oh and I've got some oats as well which I would probably need to put in as well. chop up all the fruit and um, oh god there's food everywhere actually before these turned out lovely like look at how thick they are I'm so tasty quite high in calories actually because there's banana in them and oats and peanut butter but they're really really good so yeah I'm gonna cut all these up and I wanted to show you these and actually talk about them Got these from Amazon. I got a pack of six, five. I think it was six, and it's these are glass and they come with lids. And there's little ones, um, which are great for like raspberries and stuff like that. So you put like the raspberries in there, and then you can put your strawberries or something in there. But I'm gonna put pineapple, and I'm gonna put lettuce. And honestly, these are so much better because I feel like they keep your fruit a lot fresher because they're glass. And the seal on these are really good. So I'll leave that down below as well if you are wanting to try, try them out. But this is something I like to do on like my reset day because it just means I don't have to like worry about like washing the fruit or anything like that. And also the lettuce. showed you this but I got this from Matalan I think this is brilliant for fruit and then obviously you've got my containers which are just a really lovely size um oh, did I get that from Matalan that might have been being um that might have been Matalan and then obviously another glass container for the lettuce we just have to try and find a place for them in here. So that's what it looks like now. Let's see if we can make it look any better. There we go, a little bit better. You might be able to tell. I'm gonna have to be quiet though because the kids are asleep. As you can tell, I've got a face mask on. Oh, it's so blue in here. I am going to now. Clever. I'm now going to read my book. Have you seen my bookmark? It's really cute. It's um, Beauty and the Beast. And on it, it says. Shetty's 
tail as old as time and I love it it's got a little rose at the top the little candle but yeah this is the book that I'm gonna read today I actually really like it I think it's like the fourth time maybe I'm reading this so it's something that I try and do like every weekday I give myself the weekends off just so that I don't have to worry about it too much um can you get me a breakfast bar please which breakfast bar would you like darling popcorn okay do you want a copy yes please because you missed my nighttime one mm. my afternoon one is 2010 it's actually a lot later than what I would have hoped for I fancied an early night but I have just moisturized I have just brushed my teeth and stuff and I'm now gonna pop the telly on and I'm gonna have some relaxing time so i'm just gonna quickly come on and end this video right here i hope you enjoyed um i actually quite like doing this it helped me make sure i was making good choices today you know um so let me know if you want me to film this again if you do let me know if there's anything specific you liked but apart from that thank you so much for watching unflattering thank you so much for watching it means the world to me i really hope you know that yeah subscribe like this video and i'll see you in the next one